Thank you, Jenna. And the Wairika Fire Department is trying to come up with solutions with the city to address issues they say they've been facing for decades. YFD is a volunteer-based fire agency, and while they intend to stay that way for the most part, they're looking at other options to prevent volunteer burnouts. NBC 5's Maximus Osborne reports. If you did not volunteer at this station, this station that we are in that was active 100 years ago, uh, you were either married to a firefighter, you lived next to a fighter fighter. Wairika City Manager Jason Ledbetter says the city's volunteer-based fire department is integral to the spirit and history of the city. But with a shortage of volunteers and growing medical calls, the burden on the station has led to what is described as volunteer burnout. It's a little bit harder to expect somebody to consistently get out of bed at 3 in the morning that has to go to a regular job that is just a volunteer to continuously respond to medical. But there are important calls to go to because obviously members of the community rely on that. While YFD still wants to depend on volunteers to address fires, Ledbetter is proposing a 1% sales tax increase to support a handful of paid firefighters who would mainly respond to medical calls. And that would also help them address another issue, the building itself, which is split into three different parts. The main portion called the lay station, the added space next to it for more vehicles and gear, and the museum. Where I'm standing right now is actually the museum portion where we're surrounded by a bunch of different vintage pieces as well as artworks and photographs just like this one right there which looks a little familiar. That's actually the lay station. It was taken back in the 1930s just to give you perspective into how old that part of the building is. You know, we've had issues with uh, you know space where we need more space. Uh, the apparatus have gotten larger, uh, longer, wider, taller. And we've uh, had issues with you know fitting them in the department, especially the ladder. YFD Fire Chief Jerry Lamos says the building has also had problems with the roof, floors, and even with asbestos. We need to upgrade, and it's an essential services building, so we need to have it operational um, at, in times of you know, natural disasters, etc. So from that, we need to upgrade and get a, you know, a new station going, so that's, that's a focus of, of the city right now.